Hey everyone, thanks for watching another video. Today I'm gonna to be doing a video on how to do your own DIY European skull mount. Uh, what I've got, just your basic stuff. Uh, if you get a cooker, you know, get you some propane, uh, got you your flame. Right now I've got water in this pot and you'll want to have this simmer. I like to keep it at about 150 degrees. Uh, normally what I'll do is just put a little bit of dawn dish detergent in there that's going to help the process help kind of degrease it but what i did saturday i killed this buck today is monday so saturday evening i got home and completely skinned the head down to uh, nothing but bone took the eye sockets out and uh, this is how it was when i put it in the pot basically uh, right now it's been simmering for about 30 minutes or so um, what I'll do here in a minute is take this out and begin the process. I'm going to pressure wash and basically just knock any of that, uh, you know, cartilage or any any meat or anything off of there. And uh, we'll go from there. You can put borax in your water. That will help the process of turning the skull whiter quicker. But if you get it up on the base of your horns, it's going to end up turning the bases of those white. So that's why I like just to use regular Dawn and uh, go from there. But I'm gonna kind of document this and show you. If you've got any questions or anything, just reach out to me and I'd be more than willing to uh, help you out. All right, it's been a total of about 45 minutes now. And uh, as you can tell, it looks pretty good. I think it's about time to uh, go ahead and start pressure washing on it. So I've already started the pressure washer. I'm gonna go ahead and come over here and I'm gonna set this skull up right there. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my hat so you can kind of watch what's going on. So. Anyway, what I'm gonna do, make sure that I can see this good. The GoPro looks about right. That should be good about right there. Now that I've done some pressure washing, you know, it's not cleaned up yet, but what I'm going to do is put it back in the pot and let it simmer for maybe, maybe uh, you know, 10 or 15 more minutes, and that'll kind of help cook any of the extra meat off that it didn't cook real good. It'll help limber it up, make it easier to come off when I pressure wash again. All right, it's been about 10 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and take this out. Let all that water drain out of it, and then I'm going to continue the pressure washing. I'll go ahead and turn this thing off.
point all I gotta do is just get this little bit of cartilage out of the nose a couple of little pieces in here and break this off you can see up in there I've got all the nasal junk out of there it's just a little bit of cartilage and it's way up in there you can't really see it anyway What I did before I go to the store to get that peroxide, I got a little fan put on here just to kind of dry the inside of the skull and everything out. It's just going to help that process of uh, being able to put the cream on there and not have to worry about the skull being wet. And it'll just help the uh, process be a little quicker. Okay, I just got back from Sally Beauty Supply and picked up some of this Volume 40. This is peroxide, it's a cream developer. And uh, this is what I'm going to apply to the skull to make it white. Uh, right here you can kind of see there's like a little grease spot that's just within the bone. But what I'm gonna do is just give a real generous favor or uh, apply this cream real generously to this uh, skull. And uh, you know, I'm gonna let it soak in for a day or two and I'm just going to keep repeating that process until it's like snow white or however white that I want it. I got this little brush to apply and I just got this pan to keep it from getting a mess. I do have gloves on because if you get this stuff on your skin it's very strong and it would actually uh, kind of burn your skin and pretty much turn it white. So you just got to be really careful. I would definitely recommend wearing gloves and uh, you want to make sure that you do not get any of this cream on anywhere of your horns because if you do it's going to turn that white so I've got some paper towels right there if I need to I can wipe them off but I'm just gonna apply this and uh, let it soak in and in a day or so I'll show you the finished product Now something else too, you want to make sure you get it in these nasal cavities and all down and through here, uh, cover all those cracks. And uh, one thing I forgot to mention, uh, the reason I like to do it the way I did, um, that real low heat, is because if you get too hot it will make the bones brittle and this nose will actually crack and separate. And then down here on the sides, you can tell right there how that looks really nice. If you do it too hot too quick, it will actually burn this bone up and you actually see teeth through there. So I know that from experience. So you just want to be very careful with how hot and how long that you do this as far as like your boiling process. But I'm going to go ahead and brush this on, apply it everywhere where you see white skull. You want it to be coated. You know, get real good in those nasal cavities. And you're not going to hurt it. You're not going to put too much. And I just want to coat this whole skull. So that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm going to continue to coat this, but... That's all you do, just coat the whole skull and uh, let it soak in. Moved it over here out of the way, but there is the finished product, what it looks like after I get done coating this completely. Uh, you want to have it everywhere where you can see bone, just to make sure you get a good white coat. And you basically just, like I said, repeat this process until it's as white as you want. But, uh, you know, you can tell I have no peroxide at all on these antlers. Because if you do, you're going to have white spots. So, 
I'll show you the finished product in the next day or so. So thanks for watching. If you hadn't already done so, please like and subscribe and share with your buddies trying to grow this channel. And uh, that really helps out. So I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, here is the finished product. Um, once it got done whitening, all I did was take it outside, got the water hose and just rinsed all that cream off of it and put a fan on it and let it dry so i've brought it inside now but there it is uh, you know as you can tell right here there is no crack or anything like that the whole nose piece stayed on there really well and uh like i said the main reason for that is is you do not want to get your boil too hot uh too fast um so you just really want it on a simmer if you look right along the teeth, his teeth are all good. They didn't get burned up or anything like that. And there he is. So there he is. So thanks for watching. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe to my YouTube channel and watch this hunt. That one was listed just a couple days ago. So I appreciate y'all. If you got any questions or anything, just let me know. I appreciate it. God bless.